vice versa yep. for the off lane as well. Raven is down to half HP while well, they're all fighting in the bottom lane. So they're so looking for Castaway. The blast stops there. The first blood secured as well. Back uh, to safety. Let's be straight mid. He's dead. It's not an easy lane for him. That is, uh, that is physical damage, so this Wyvern counters with that full brace. It takes zero damage. Here comes oh, Castaway with the teleport rotation as well, and maybe they can punish this Alk with no mana to fight back. A couple more hits. JG, Kieran's he led the spear. He's actually gonna let him go. He will lose Castaway as Carlo gets a trade-off kill. Carlo's we'll career do does die to Bombi though, but uh, can he get Bombi down? No, JG will uh, intervene. Maybe the Phoenix is a bit of an addition, but most of that is Acid Spray, the high right click damage from Alchemist, and of course the Phoenix when you've got Minus Armor on top of you. And since they noticed the Concoction spam, they're like, well, I'm just gonna use heal. Meanwhile, Ken gonna get hit by the Sonic Wave in the mid lane with Carlo there as well. Ken will drop, but he gets a kill on Carlo before he dies. But when it guys to like the Wyvern, it, it, it wasn't really that strong by the Oh, no, no Gabby. Really, really extending his limits here in this bottom lane, and they got a kill for CDR. Abed, he does not have his ulti, he doesn't have a mana really, and Timps is gonna drop the blast off, will connect on Castaway. And they've got Ken here as well. Just respawned, rotated to this bottom lane for some kills. Gabby needs level 6, by the way, on this mag. They're pressuring bit this whole time, and you don't have RP to come around. But it's Tim's doing all the heavy lifting. Abed is low. And Ken's gonna go for the dive here. Does get the connection for the first stun. Gets the second one. Looking for a third. He'll get it. Does he have the damage to finish him off? Does one buckle in one second. Should finish the job. Wants to hit both of them. Oh, he lets Tim's jump away. He's holding on to that swashbuckle for the, you know, the absolute longest. And doesn't even drop it at all. So on the side of Blacklist. Another Jay rotating did. top, you've got a smoke beam coming out as well. They've got the arena placed down, Raven gonna be surprised, the Alchemist, no ulti. He actually gets it off, but he's regenerating, but the bone hits at max range. Mars will get the kill on Raven. Abed, hammering away, Tims with a jump onto the Mars. Mars is gonna fall, Tims is dropping low on HP and isolated, but a nice three-man taser disarm. We'll buy some time for Carlo and Abed to get out of there, as he will drop, so it's, you gotta have, like, if, you, if there's some person in the Dota scene or the talent scene who is, uh, so he's just glorifying the SA people. We bought Gabby. Caught one of his brethren. And Castaway is able to TP out. And if Mars is able to get away too, if he is, there's no tower though. Like he will eventually fall. Just making them work a bit harder for that kill. Even though you lost that fight bottom, you're not sad about what's happening. Abed. He pops his haste rune and looks for Abed, trying to surround him. There's the Sonic Wave available. Gotta remember that Sonic Wave will push the Pango away. He's trying to bait out Tins. He's trying to go for the suicide jump out, but uh, not gonna work out. That's the old one. And as you can see, Ken's being pushed away by the Sonic Wave, so Abed's fine. Yes. Okay, 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 Mr. Fancy Pants. Did you know that imaginary number or power of imaginary is real? There you go, Pango. Yeah, that's a that's a relevant information. I don't think about that. <laughs> Gabby might have landed the RP to get a Ken kill, but he will die. Tim's trying to slow him down, but an eclipse use as well. Carlo will drop. Like look at these wards from Raging. Abed, by the way, he's out of mana. The Diffusal Blade is preventing Abed from escaping, and here comes the smoke. It finally seems to connect on top of Abed, and this is a very dead Queen of Pain. That Diffusal Blade, it's coming Alchemist perfect for too. Ken, and now they can hunt the Alchemist as well. There's Castaway teleporting in as well with Furion, and it's a four versus one fight. You've got Phoenix coming in from the back, but he can't do anything to save his buddy. Maybe and Phoenix he just got well, two no. big kills. You could maybe even get a third. There's the Wild or Spear no. flying in, but he will not hit the bird. Nicely, Very nicely done. Yep. Very messy from Blacklist, but uh, Neon are making the exact right moves they're supposed to be doing. Now they kill a third core in a row. It's Gabby's Magnus that falls. Usually Alchemists have at least two to three thousand gold by this time. So, uh, don't let the numbers fool you too much. Beautiful bunk on three. They drop low. Tims will die. It's a singular swashbuckle with a DD rune and Carlo with Abed.
got all of their alts ready. They've got RP ready. Gabby, if he can land a big RP, that could change the whole thing. A Raven already down at half HP. There we go. CDR, he doesn't get skewered. The BKB will turn it around. Raven's already down. Gabby's about to fall. There's an egg that will explode. And a Sonic Wave does connect onto two. It doesn't just so any other heroes. Castaway's already aggressively teleporting in for Vision. He's caught Abed. Three seconds for a blink available. Can Ken finish him off before he does? The Rolling Thunder's gonna be there, but he dies inside of the Sprouts. And onto Carlo they go as well. Ken will just right click him down. A double kill from the Pango. Four kills for Neon. They're under. No, they're actually not under vision, but they spot the Magnus while they're doing Roshan. Two things at the same time, and Gabby submits to his fate. Radiant scan as well. Dude, these guys are on fire. At the same time, you don't need five guys in the Roshan pit with Luna with this much farm. They're just hunting kills all over the map, getting another objective at the same time, being active, <laughs> constantly discussing what's the next thing we want to do, and already like two steps ahead of what they're planning. They could kill off Mars easily with some Orchid skew with that. We are going to the arena comes out, blocks out the escape from Magnus. It was a good idea, but JG again on top of his game. Cast away though, fighting versus Hobbit and Raven. They're focusing the Nature's Prophet and he goes down. Five echoes come out from Gabby. Still has the RP. Blink RP is available. Egg will explode. Connects onto nobody. CDR down to the low ground. There's Raven. And Gabby, what does he do? Who does he grab? He's only got the Mars. Ken just dodged it. Arbit is so low on HP. One more hit should do it, but he's going to escape for the time being. But get sniped by the swashbuckle. And Raven is going to fall as well. And Blacklist are losing this game. Neon's running them over. And there's the GG call. 22 minutes. This team. Coming in with a blitz for game one of the morning series for SCA. It is time for game number two of Blacklist versus Neon Esports. They get from behind as the horn blows. And off we go. Neon gonna be straight behind. They get the stun on Carlo and the blood is imminent towards the direction of Neon. Tim's, he's going for the bubble, but it's not gonna save him. CDR, one more right click, and actually our uh, castaway gets the first blood. Those, yeah, 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 gets a catch here. That's a DD on the puck as well. They could be able to catch Tim's here. Coil will be popped right on top of him. Chen with Pango. Here comes the Magnus as well, ready with the RP. They're already finishing off the first hero. Rolling Thunder in. CDR in the front. The Luna's gonna be there. They got Chocolate connected. Magnus slows down. RP available. Will drop it down, but Abed's focusing Ken. The Swashbuckle's not enough damage. The Skewer coming in. Raindrop's gonna be popping. The Grenade's gonna be connecting as well. Gabby's gonna be low on HP. Carlo's gonna go down. Gabby might just get the kill. He got CDR, but he will trade his life for it. But Ken getting a triple on this puck. It's hard to counter. Got a bit of an invasion coming in for JG. Abed using that big swatch buckle first. Tim's throws in the bubble. Doesn't have any backup though. Anybody can actually save him. So at least something that they can recover with from that, which makes it such a good pickup. They're gonna go in the stream. The coil too. And gonna get the pop and an ice blast is flying in. He's gonna connect onto the shadow demon so they make sure he will fall at least. Even if Abed is able to disengage. This Blacklist uh, lineup is missing one thing. It's missing any sort of control. Mid lane, they're not missing any control. And this oh, and oh, they got Abed as well. Disaster yeah. strikes right away. Using it at the moment, they see Pango. They do see Pango. Right there, cancelling the TP as well. Abed's gonna have to submit to his fate here. He might have his ulti up. Oh. The blast is there, the blast off is there, Abed trying to roll away, he's looking at the direction he's going at, he's gonna have to tank the mines as he's going out. Ken on the chase, just a couple more hits could maybe do the trick, Chen throwing in the ulti, which blade is there, the debuff connects and hits Puck as well with the blink, he's so close to getting out. 300 HP, the orb will not go oh, back. Still going for really? it. Ken is going absolutely ham here. They popped the stampede. He's trying to disjoint the charges, but no. Too aggressive. Feeling himself a bit too much there with that stampede. And now Blacklist, they're sending up in mid. JG actually gets a stun before onto Tim's. He's got Bombi here as well. Bombs his way. They got the Orchid popped on Techies. The Techies almost finishing off Tim's. Just a couple right clicks go in and it also forced Sadiar to use that Eclipse. Now a castaway. 10 seconds for another ulti. Tims is down. Raven gonna walk into JG. JG, no stun available right now. Gonna get hit by the RP, but CDR coming in from a high ground position. Bombi, he's got one HP. JG is about to fall. He will drop. Now CDR has to fight against them, but Blacklist, they want to get the hell out of there. The most important thing for Mag is completed. Also, since we're talking about the, the numbers game. Finally got what it takes and can. He might go in. Let's see, can. 
Instant disruption. Silence on Orchid. Another Yule. Work with Stampede onto Gabby. That's a big target for them to kill, and they will drop him down with the Eclipse. Maybe it looked like overkill, but they were suspecting Blacklist to fight back, but they're not. Shadow Demon. He's currently stunned, but also hit him by the Glimmer Cape. Or Luna, Luna Butterfly. He's a spicy, by the way. Goes in for Gabby. Gabby gonna get surprised from a high Ice Blast coming in as well, but he's gone. Quick deletion. Used by three ulties once again. Uh, this is much better for Neon than it, than it could have been. This is probably the best case scenario because they go now they're coming. Out. Yes, they are. They are. <laughs> and right on top of them, Ice Blast. Good connect. RP's coming out. CDR's down to half of HP, and it's a big one. Can they clear them out? Yes, they can. CDR rips them apart with a triple for this Luna. All right, let's see Blacklist. What can they do here? They're right next to the Tormentor and trying to go for the surprise. Gabby misses the skewer, gets hit by the Lucent Beam. Tense coming from behind, pumps his BKB. He needs some backup. This boy needs some milk. But he's going to get back to safety. Gabby is in his base. Abed also kind of alone there with his Rolling Thunder. So uh, that's one ult he spent. They still have RP though, but the coil comes out onto Tim's. Ken. Back out for the time being, but Shadow Demon is dropping low, has to glimmer cape himself. Die to Ken. And Barasma. Gabby oh, gets the silence. Gone. That's the one, that's the play, but the Yules comes out just in time. And he's going to be able to throw himself into the shift. CDR, he does have a life stealer inside of him, and he won't be able to right click. And there goes your Aegis Raven. Now he feels like I have the power. I want to rip these guys apart. They've got the Luna. Luna with the BKB on. Raven dying though at the same time. The Ice Blast coming through as well, but he doesn't quite connect. That CDR, Ken's gonna go down, and they lost Gabby. They've lost Gabby, and Luna's gonna be fine for the time being. Abed closing in the gap. Luna low on HP, 200 to go. Carlo wants this kill with the Thunder High. Not gonna work out the Life Stealer. Finally finishes him off with the Infest. Now JG has the TP home, and he'll be able to get out of the way. Jumps inside Abed. Abed is actually considering going in. Ken, Ken, you gotta be careful this time, bro. Abed's diving behind the supports. Bombies getting hit. Castaway is also slowed up, but look at this guy just running around. Abed chasing them from place to place. He actually gets the snipe Carlo. He killed the Chen. Now Pango might just run Thinking in. about it. Uh, he's just backing out. Luna is up in five seconds. And they're gonna leave to die. Uh, unfortunate. Un Raven seen in the mid lane. JG is in blink range. He's pinging him out already. Bombi's ready. The hex goes out. The stun's gonna be followed up right away. The stampede coming in. They got the disruption save. Ice Blast is coming in. Raven is hex gonna get hit by, but the hex is onto the puck. Puck's gonna get RP as well. They got CDR coming in for the backup, but Kent's gonna go down. Pankini is out of game. Tims will take down buyback. one Ken coming over the buyback, and now with that buyback, they gotta make something happen here. More kills. Oh, Raven did. gets blown up by CDR. Huge hit coming out from there, and Carlo is being chased as JG finishes off Gabby. Blacklist have lost three. They took down one. They couldn't kill the techies, and they might even lose more. Carlo is able to teleport out, and so is Abed running away from the fray. Yeah, it yeah, could have just been that. Overall, I just have to say, uh, Neon, they're playing these teamfights way too well. The way they play, like, JG is a boss on this uh, centaur. He jumps, he jumps the lifestealer, but he knows that they're baiting. He runs behind with Shivas to counteract Magnus if he tries to go in with the Blink yeah, X. Yeah. It's just way too good. Like, and it was, and it was a this. great call from JG as well. He pinged out the lifestealer. Yeah. What would a spell have to do to be 9 minutes <laughs> cooldown? They're going to get a tower instantly. I don't know. JG going in the hex again, and Abed is going to get blown up. He might need to buy back right away because Raven's already used his. And Blacklist going to reset for a second, trying to chase for a kill on, G J on JG. It's Neon who are actually resetting. They've done and dealt the damage. Hex oh, fuck. The no puck, buyback. Puck. He's Remember? the one with the buyback right now. He needs some help. Gets hit by the Rolling Thunder actually interrupting the skewer. So he's stuck on the spot and now gets out. CDR in the front. Abed down a half HP already. Carlo's about to fall. He does get saved. Bombi doesn't quite get the blast off to connect. Raven's going to be hacking him down. Techies getting saved by the E-Blade for a second in front of the Tier 4 Towers. But that mine destroys both of them. That bomber takes something with him. Evil Eye there is the Ancient. But uh, let's not get too tangled up on that. This is a spicy game right now. This is a really spicy game. Because Neon could pull off the upset with a 2-0 win. And advance to the upper brackets in finals. If they can knock out Blacklist here, but Black Blacklist, they're not giving up easy. They're not giving up easy here. They're backing out. Ice Blast coming through. Carlo might just die to it. Infest heal from Raven. 
will keep Carlo alive. Constantly walking in circles in front of the There's high ground Ken. position. Ken is There's also Ken. considering going in. They gotta move soon, and there we go, CDR goes in, the Lincolns will pop right away, but they will get the Hex out onto the Luna. Big heals from the Chen ulti as well, sent over the BKB, running forward and looking for some kills here, but they're jumping the back line onto the Techies, they go, Techies saved by the E-Blade. Ken, he's also getting himself out of there, Life Stealers BKB's already run out, and now they take down Abed, Abed down, Carlos, the fall, Raven down, Tim's gone, Neon have done it!